If you want to skip through this video, I've put the timestamps in the video description. You can just click the time and that will take you to that part of the video. Hey guys, welcome to Strike Engine TV. If you haven't subscribed already, please do us a favor. Click that button in the bottom right hand corner. Subscribe to the channel if you like these type of videos. Hey guys, so these are the mics. These are the three cheapest vlogging mics in the world. They're all lav mics or lavalier mics or label mics, however you want to call them. So what we're going to do in this video, first of all, we're going to look at features, the clips, the build quality, the materials, etc, etc. Then we're going to go and do some sound tests and then we're going to see which mic is uh, the best out of these and if they are usable as a vlogging mic. So first of all, we're going to label these mics so you know what we're talking about. So the first one, this one here, is going to be a plastic mic one. This is going to be the metal mic and this is going to be the plastic mic two. Let's have a look at the plastic mic one first of all. Let's have a quick look at its construction. So it is a fully plastic mic. There are no uh, uh, grooves or holes around the outside of the casing. The, the sound purely comes in from the front. Uh, the, there's not holes in the, the end. As you can see, there's three slots for the sound. It's a plastic construction. It seems um, you know, a very strong, very hard casing. The clip on it is plastic. Uh, the, it, the clip on it is strong enough but I think the, the, it rotates on the clip and this is a bit floppy generally. You can move in and out, up and down easily and you know there's nothing to stop it from twisting around. Cable is nothing to write home about really. There's no, there's no, um, uh, what can you say, there's no sleeving at the end of the at, the, at the bottom of the mic. I think it's just glued into the end which you know, it seems strong enough. Maybe over time it's going to get a bit weak. But again, it's a less than a dollar mic, so we can't be too fussy. All three mics use the same type of foam. And I would say the, the size of the foam is different. So the, the two, if I can just compare the sizes. So um, this is the plastic mic one foam. This is the metal mic foam. And this is the plastic mic two foam. So that's the plastic mic one. Let's move on to the metal mic. I should also add that all these mics have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is the metal mic. Uh, to me it seems like the, the complete construction is metal. It also has a metal mesh on the inside. It has um, a sleeve for the cable where it goes into the mic. I'd say the cable is exactly the same as the plastic mic one. The clip here, there's no resistance to it twisting in this direction. Um, the metal mic, I would say it's, it's stronger and you can see it's also got the teeth in it so it's not going to slide anywhere. And it is clipped directly onto the mic which I think is you know, a bit of a necessity. Uh, you really need to have, um, you don't want the cable sliding up and down through the uh, holder. So I'd say the, the construction definitely appears to be better than the plastic mic one. You can see it's got vents on the side and the top. We'll see what difference that makes in the sound test. And the clip is better. So, so far, build quality wise, I'd say the metal mic is definitely superior to the first mic, plastic mic one. And this is pla plastic mic two. Um, it is a much bigger mic than the first plastic mic. You can see the difference in the size. Uh, you've got the vents in the side and, uh, you know, a lot more vents in the top compared to the plastic mic one. The clip is also, I would say, stronger. Uh, more useful, um, it's got more teeth on it than the plastic mic one. Um, it clamps about the same uh, strength. Uh, there is a bit of resistance to twisting, so that will be helpful when mounting it. Uh, again, the clip is connected directly to the microphone, which I think is a very good thing. You don't, again, you don't want the cable moving up and down the um, through the clip. With regards to the cable on it, there doesn't seem to be any real resistance to the cable going in and out of the casing and you can see that the cables are loose inside so I've got to I've got to assume that the cables are going to be touching each other in the uh, in this microphone I mean there doesn't seem to be anything uh, stopping them from touching so this is a definite shorting issue here straight away we will see soon with regards to the cable it's braided and again, it's a 3.5 millimeter jack. So that's the mics, the build quality. Again, this is all plastic. Uh, the clip seems okay. I do have serious concerns about this, um, the loose wires in here. I'm hoping this doesn't um, cause any issues with foam. Also, the magnet appears to be loose at the end. 
which is not something you can say for the other mics. So um, I've got serious reservations about this mic um, with regards to the build quality. Now we'll go into the sound tests of each mic and we'll see how they perform. So in these tests, we're just we're going to test the mics under the chin at 45 degrees pointing towards the mouth and then pointing directly into the mouth. Plastic mic one, mic underneath the chin. Plastic mic one, mic underneath the chin. This is metal mic underneath the mouth. This is metal mic underneath the mouth. So this is plastic mic two underneath the mouth. Plastic mic two underneath the mouth. Plastic mic one, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. Plastic mic one, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is metal mic, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. Plastic mic two, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. Plastic mic two, 45 degrees in front of the mouth. And this is plastic mic one, directly in front of the mouth. Plastic mic one, directly in front of the mouth. And this is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. Plastic mic two directly in front of the mouth. Plastic mic two directly in front of the mouth. So now we're going to test the mics using uh, with loud background music and we're going to see how well they isolate my voice from the background music. This is plastic mic two underneath the mouth. Plastic mic two underneath the mouth. This is plastic mic one underneath the mouth. This is plastic mic one underneath the mouth. This is the metal mic underneath the mouth. This is the metal mic underneath the mouth. This is plastic mic two 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic two 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic one 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic one 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic 2 directly in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic 2 directly in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic 1 directly in front of the mouth. This is plastic mic 1 directly in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. So that's the indoor test done. Now we'll move on to the outdoor tests with the car and the wind. Okay guys, we're going to stop the video there. I've got a confession to make. I've already done a video with the plastic mic one and the metal mic before. Now before you judge me, let me just explain what happened. I did those two mics and I thought, once I'd done that video, I thought, why don't I just do the th a test with the three cheapest mics in the world? So I looked on eBay and I saw that there was one other plastic mic that you could get on eBay that was less than a dollar and it was slightly cheaper than the other two mics that were in the first video. So I thought, why not get all three mics and just do a video, cheapest, the three cheapest mics in the world, let's do a review of those. As I was rummaging around the mics that I had, I realized I already had the plastic mic too. So I thought, okay, let's bang out this video and we'll see what's what. I was expecting the three mics to be relatively close to each other, so I was going to do the, the tests all over again. But as you can tell from the first test we've done in a quiet environment and with the music, the Plastic Mic 2 is nowhere near as good as the other two. So I don't think there's any point in doing a test with a, a wind test with a Plastic Mic 2 comparing it to the, uh, the first two mics because it's just nowhere near as good and I think basically it's unusable, it's not a good mic. And I think you can tell that from the sound recordings that we've done so far. So the Plastic Mic 2, I would say, I want to be as constructive as possible about it. Uh, it's got a good cable. Uh, the clip on it is maybe as good as the metal mic. But the sound quality, in my opinion, it's, it's nowhere near as good as the first two. And uh, there's also, in my opinion, at least with the mic I had, I can't guarantee they're all going to be the same, but the mic I have, I, in my opinion, there's build issues with it, mainly due to the cables being loose inside the mic itself. The, the fact that you can feed the cable into the mic and then pull it out, plus the magnet being loose inside, which is probably going to have sound issues if you're moving around when you're recording. So long story short, Plastic Mic 2, I don't think there's any point in continuing the test uh, with these three microphones together because 
it's not worth it it's it's nowhere near as good as the first two and I've already done a video like I said with the first two mics so long story short in conclusion if you would just want to see the wind tests the outside tests of the two best mics the plastic mic one and the metal mic I'll put a link in the video description and a, and a link at the end of this video so you can go and see that test um, but altogether out of the three mics like I said the plastic mic 2 no go for me I don't think it's worth the hassle it's not a usable mic I would say the sound quality is probably maybe as as good if not worse than the internal mic you've already got in your camera um, and with regards to the plastic mic one and the metal mic as I said in the other video I'd say the metal mic is superior to plastic mic one it's just a bigger frequency range it sounds better it's less sensitive to the direction that you hold the mic underneath the chin it's it's just got good sound quality if it's facing um, if it's facing away from you if it's facing uh, below you it's got as good sound insulation as plastic mic one um, but the added benefit of the metal mic is arguably the construction is stronger it's got a boot at the bottom of the cable going into the mic so the cable is more secure inside the microphone plastic mic one's got the glue which may give up over time the cables used for the plastic mic one and the metal mic are probably as good as each other so the general construction of the mic I think the metal mic is also better than plastic mic one and also the clip on metal, the metal mic is better than the plastic mic one in my opinion the clip on plastic mic one is a bit weak it is okay the both clips uh, the mic can rotate without any resistance on it which is not ideal but the real deal breaker for the clip on the plastic mic one is the fact that the cable can slide up and down the cable the clip can slide up and down the cable which is not good if you just want to keep the mic in a in a, in the same position um, whereas the clip on the metal mic is clipped directly to the mic itself so there's no chance of the cable moving up and down so the clip is better on metal mic one the build quality seems to be better the cable quality is identical and the mic itself has got a better sound so for me metal mic um, the metal mic is a clear winner uh, and the sound quality I think is is excellent I actually I might even do extra videos to see if we can even improve the uh, the sound quality of the metal mic over and above what it's got out of the box so if you want to see that video subscribe to the channel there's a two major well there's two main modifications I can see which could help that mic you know be even better than what it is so I'll do sort of a DIY video on how to improve the sound on that mic assuming the DIY works but anyway subscribe to the channel if you want to see that video um, but that's it guys the three cheapest vlogging mics that you can buy uh, they're all on eBay I'll put link to all three mics in the video description but like I said plastic mic 2 for me non-starter I think you're probably better off using the the internal mic on the camera that you've got it's I think it's probably better than the, the metal mic uh, the plastic mic 2 in the second place it's the plastic mic one don't get me wrong I think that's a very good microphone and actually I might even do another video with that also how you can improve the sound quality of that mic because I can see two again two things that we can do to that mic that will make the sound quality uh, better maybe I'll do a com montage I'll do a DIY for both mics together in one video anyway like I said subscribe to the channel if, uh, to keep up to date if and when I do that video and then the clear leader and I think it's a it's an absolute bargain if you ask me is the uh, metal mic excellent sound quality you heard it with the uh, with the music that we were doing that that music was very loud much louder than I was speaking and yet my voice still came out very well on the metal mic uh, so you know like I said it's a it's a bargain the clip on it is excellent the uh, build quality is excellent and the sound is excellent and it costs less than a dollar so for me it's the clear winner the metal mic so that's the video guys I'll stop waffling now as always if you like this type of video please subscribe to the channel you know we've only got we've got less than a thousand subscribers at the moment I'd really like to get over the thousand subscribers at least to start with so hit the link in the bottom right hand corner subscribe to the strike engine TV if you're not a subscriber already if you're already a subscriber thank you very much for subscribing uh, please vote on this video whether you liked it or whether you didn't 
Uh, look after yourself and I'll see you again next time.